Uh, weather's one of them, just looking out over my shoulder here, you see a bit of rain going on there, so yeah, the weather's been, uh, obviously was a big factor, but oh, I think we just got settled there, um, and work-wise, and so everything, yeah, everything sort of settled there now, we've become, you know, our family sort of, you know, become sort of embedded there. They talked about Australia there, but it must be great to be back in Norwich. How big a role has the club and the city actually played in, in your life? Uh, I had 12 great years here. In Crook. Chip four. Well, a lovely ball. Bowen can get there. Yeah. I was fortunate enough to play with some really good players in some good teams. Uh, you know, where the norm was finishing up towards the top of the uh, of the table. So that, that's great. Norwich as a place itself is, um, you know, a very special part. And what have you made of Norwich's start to the season? I know they've, they've struggled a bit defensively, haven't they? But do, do you think they've got enough to stay up? Yes, I do. I think they're. Um, I think they're good enough. Then they're good, good enough players and a good enough coaching staff to, to survive. Um, you know, you get punished in the Premier League. Um, there's some top players in there. So, at the moment, if there's any sort of slip-ups defensively, they get highlighted. But I think they've got enough goals in them, uh, which is important to, to survive. Now, what a lot of people won't know, or that maybe they do know, is that you nearly signed for Ipswich. For people that don't know, just just tell us how close you were to signing for them. Well, <laughs> if you take it by some people, I actually did sign. Yeah, I've made the decision there and I'm, I'm glad I've made the decision. I'm now looking forward to a, to a new start. I feel, feel like, you know, I feel like a bit of a kid again now, you know. Um, it was mainly to Norwich as a place that kept us wanting to sign uh, at Ipswich. Um, then we wouldn't move home. It turned out then that Mike Walker came back in literally in them hours that I signed and I uh, had a quick chat with him on the phone and decided that uh, that Norwich was the best place for me to stay as he, he wanted me to, to sort of re-sign, so, yeah. After your playing career, you went into coaching, didn't you? And then you went into management as well. What, was there a certain point that made you realise that actually management wasn't for you? One thing probably tipped me over the edge, to be honest with you. I, I'd had a, a good period as a, as a manager um, back in Australia and, um, and then actually came an interview for, for the job here. Peter Grant actually got the job and I... I after the interview, I actually thought that I'd got it, um, and at that time, I, I, th I think I was probably ready for it. Uh, and that probably was a little bit of a kick in the teeth because it was something that I always wanted to do. And then I think from then, I sort of looked at it and went, "Well, you know what? Maybe it's not for me." And finally, me and your son Sam, we've been mates since primary school. I remember coming round to have a kick about in your your back garden and things like that. How weird is it to see me on this side of the camera now? <laughs> yeah, really weird. Uh, yeah, he's, he's, look, he's great. Um, looking back and seeing you sitting on a sofa or a little red chair in the front room uh, a few years back now. Um, but, yeah, look, for me, it's great. That's, that's life now. You've both moved on, but you're still good friends uh, yourself and Sam, so that's, um, that's brilliant.